Hello everyone, this is Shayna, and welcome to CUNY Creations. For those of you who have been here with me all along, hi, how are you guys doing? And for all my new subbies, welcome and thank you. I know I'm at almost, I'm getting almost 600 subscribers, so I really, really appreciate you guys joining and signing on. And please encourage your friends to do the same. This is what keeps my channel going. My last video, I did a flip through of a Brera and Nancy journal, which is a childhood classic in West Africa and in the Caribbean, where I grew up. And it has sold, so thank you very much for that. And today I'm just going to do a quick mini haul with Labor Day weekend. You know, there were a lot of sales happening. So I did stop at Michael's and Joann's, and I think the Dollar Tree, and I believe Walmart as well. So let's start with Michael's. They had some of these. paper packs on sale. I don't know if any one of you had a chance to stop by, but these were $5. And I just love the bold colors, the patterns, and everything. I'm going to rip it open. I think I picked up like four. I mean, they didn't have many left, but I was glad to have these. And they're only single-sided, but that's okay. I'll show you what I do with single side packs. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you can see. So we've got some bold patterns. This looks more like leaves and flowers. I love the gold leaf in there. And now we've got this one here, the gold again. So they've mixed the plain pattern then with these bold figured patterns as well. So these are some nice colors that I enjoy. I use in my journal making. So this one is my recollections, Bloom and Grow. This is another one here, $5 as well. And again, single-sided, which is okay. As soon as it opens. But guys, I think there's still a little bit of time. Today is Monday. So if you haven't gotten out to Joann's yet or Michael's, you know, there's still some time. And these are more like for the garden, but that's okay. These seasons come every year. So I'm not too worried. There will be plenty of time to use them. And of course, I got plain craft paper in the 12 by 12. And then this appears to be, I'm not going to open this one, but it's got like a pink glitter. It's got this plaid, two pastel colors, and then the floral. Again, this was $3.99 actually. And then this one here, $5, different marble and techniques. I do like the pastels. And I got like the gold in between. And you know, these are the colors. I love this pink. You can see the gold reflecting there. And of course, you know, different patterns, colors. Some with gold leaf, some without. Like this one here. So they'll come in handy, you know, as backup paper or fillers or just to make a pheromone with them. So those are the paper packs from Michaels. And then I think there was more. Because remember, they had a sale going. <laughs> so I got these as well. I'm getting ready for the holidays. Earlier I had gotten the green and the red. Um foil cardstock paper from them for Christmas colors. And here we go. This one was $5 as well too. And again, I'm from the I'm from the tropics, so I love these bright floral colors. And I tend to use them in my journal. So again, you know, there you go. Bright patterns. Right. And then, of course, Christmas colors again for my Christmas albums and Christmas junk journals. And then I have the foil in those colors. Now, an example of how I use the single page sheets. An example of how I use the single sheets. This is a, this is a 12 by 12 page that I cut in half. And then I glued them 
you know, together, glued it onto plain white cardstock. And then I just did extra and I stitched the edges. So here I've created my own double sided. And this is going to be for a six by six journal. So this is just an example, you know, of how you can use the single pages and make them double pages and cut them in half, you know, and double the quantity that you've got. So don't be discouraged with just a single side papers. Now I also got some jewelry from Michaels on sale, of course. So I've got these here. I just love these. What I do is I separate them out and make charms with them for my journals. So these here, I absolutely love. And like I said, they were on sale. I think it was like 50% off or something like that. You see? And we got this blue. Hope you can see that. And I've got a little bit of paint on my hands. I've been doing some work around the house this weekend. And I just love these shades of green. And these are kind of clear but iridescent, if that makes sense. And then I just love this olive green tones that they have in here. And what I do, an example, so I would make my charm. And you see, I create a charm with the beads. And then you attach them onto the journals. I do have this video linked below showing you how I made this from scratch. But it's, you know, just something to put in your purse if you want to like keep a shopping list or anything like that. You've got a pocket here for your receipts. But I'm going to put a link to the full tutorial on how you can make this for yourself as well. And if you've got your charms nearby, it's good. So what I do is that I make my charms in advance. So I think these beads here I've gotten from Walmart actually. So just an example of you know how you can do this. And then these were like supposed to be like dra dragonflies. But again, so I have these made and ready. So whenever I have a journal ready to go or a project, I just go ahead. So these are just some leaves that I attach to a chain. These are all like string jewelry that you get from Michaels or Joann's. And like I said, I separate them out and make my own charms with them. I know you've seen these in Walmart. These come string jewelry. Again, separating them out so they look like angels. And this one is coming apart, so I'm gonna have to repair that. But here is what it should look like. And you could hang this, make that into a charm. And then the big beads that I was showing you about, this is how I make them into these little tassels. I love these big beads. So all like this one here is probably gonna make something like this too. And I've got the, you know, the tassel at the bottom here. And I've done these, you know, with several, I don't know if you can see these. This is another one that I separated out of the beads. I just love that. It looks like a safari. And then I've added a little charm at the bottom here. But you know, you can make tassels with them. So I have these here, they're good to go. This is another one. You know, you can buy the beads in the jar as well. I think these came in a jar. And you select them, put them together, and you've got your charms to go. This is just another example. But I think you got the idea. So those are the ones that I got from Michaels. And of course, to Joann's, and I think even today, they still have the sale on things like four for $10. So if you want to catch that, you might still have some time. Four sets of string beads for $10. And I got these here in Joann's. Let me just take it out and I'll go through it with you. So the more seats in here. So these are just some trim that were on sale. Black lace. I love that one. And of course the gold leaf. So these are going to come in handy. And then I got some embossing folders. Looks like polka dots and some damask. And of course I just love this fabric right in time for fall. So I'm definitely going to either make some ephemera out of this or some tags and definitely cover a junk journal or two. Love this print. And of course the batik tie dyeing, I think it would be excellent for a journal cover too. So I can't wait. So I pulled those two up. These are on sale as well too. And of course, um, Joann's four for $10. Sorry with all the noise. <laughs> So any four of these, nice peppermint looking 
string of beads here. And I just love these big pastel colors, almost like pearls in different colors. And of course your classic black goes with anything. I thought these would be nice for around Christmas time because they look almost like little jingle bell kind of thingies going. <laughs> and of course, when I make my African journals, I thought it's kind of look kind of ethnic, so I grabbed these as well. And I'll be combining them with something else to make a charm. I could not pass this up. Just look at those. One of your vint one of my vintage journals. Definitely have a charm to go with that. And of course, I needed some yellow for whatever reason. I did not have yellow beads. So these are your basic yellow. So four for ten dollars. I think I got like twenty dollars here. But I think that is enough beads to keep me busy for now. And then I also stopped at the. Oh, I also grabbed this Rafia roll from Joanne's. I stopped at the Dollar Tree, and I grabbed this here as for Shayna. I noticed they had some like clear Klingon stamps, which I grabbed as well. This is a um, chalk marker. I just thought these little gems, they just look like brooches actually, but I think they'll do well. They're stickers, but I think they'll do well in my journals. And I just got these, I just thought this was cute. Um, you know, Dreamcatcher stamps. And of course the llamas. I got another one of this here. And then, you know, these are the, they call them auto coolant stickers, but you know, you know how we'll get them to work in our journals. So that is it guys. Just a quick hello, I'll show you what I've been up to. I think I got these at Michael's too. It's just um, handcrafted, you know, stamps from me to you, handmade with love, that kind of thing. So you can stamp your products at the end with, with it. But yeah, I think this is it. I also grabbed this, I think it was in Walmart doing like regular grocery shopping. But as you see, I wanna see if I can get some of these glue marks, you know, out of my mat. I usually don't film with a mat showing because of that. But I'm gonna try this to see if I can get this out and get this cleaned up. But I think, you know, I'm gonna, it's gonna be fun. I am working on some Christmas journals and fall journals. So those should be coming out soon. And yeah. But guys, thank you so much for your support. Again, you've still got a little bit of time if you want to get down to these stores. I'm sure their sales are still going on. I know Joann's was still doing the four for $10 as of this morning online when I checked. Um, but yeah, let me know how you're doing. And I'll be posting soon my next project, probably a tutorial. I think I may be making some giant tags. And you know, if you, have some time please go ahead and check out my instagram page check out some of the links in this same video here for some of the journals i did using the charms that i made i'm also on facebook pinterest and of course i've got my website and my etsy store and once again guys thank you have a safe rest of the labor day holiday have a blessed day until next time bye